So how close do you think we really are to becoming a multi-planetary species, and what will it take to get there? As phrased, I think it's a super easy question to answer on a technicality, which is the moon is not a planet, <laughs> and uh, Venus is a you know, hellhole of burning battery acid, Mercury, you know, really just no, um, and Jupiter, big gas thing, you know, fall right through it. So, uh, putting a, so excluding the moons you know, as a technicality, I think uh, it, it leads to the obvious conclusion Elon came to early, which is all about Mars, right? Mars is the place where you could imagine a self-sustaining society existing. It'd be very difficult coming back to including the moons. It'd be very difficult on our moon. So I think the one, in my mind, the one big open unsolved, un unanswered question that needs to be answered, and it probably only takes $10 million to answer it, which blows my mind, no one's tackled this, is does mammalian reproduction work in Martian gravity? Simple question, right? One third our gravity, roughly 36%. Will fetal development normally proceed and natural human birth be possible? If not, that makes you change your thinking about this whole thing. <laughs> So this is a big question, very easily answered. You could just put up guinea pigs, they have a 60 day gestation period, put them up pregnant, have a webcam, see if they have a live birth. If so, great. If not, spend a little more money to understand what's going wrong, you know, and is it, can we fix it? Um, because I think this is the linchpin to being a multiplanetary species to actually be able to reproduce. Talking about birth rates um, being a critical issue for the future of nations, it's also true for the future of other worlds. <laughs> <laughs>